Hello, it is Mark Tullock here with Mill and Tullock. And we are here for the Tullock Clan podcast. The Tullock Clan is myself, you, who else? No, just us. Just us. Yeah. Okay, Tullock Clan. But you can join the Tullock Clan if you wish. Uh, so hit the subscribe button. We're just going to do a podcast and pretty much talk about what we normally talk about. But record it and engage with the audience and get their feedback and stuff. Um, talk about the things that we like to talk about. What do we What do we like to talk about? All sorts of stuff. Everything. Um, Kardashians, Oprah, sport, UFC, everything. News. We talk a lot drama. about politics. We talk a lot about. Local politics, international politics, um, family, parenting, kids, heaps about the UFC because we're both UFC fanatics. We both listen to the UFC, uh, watch the UFC every week. We yeah, watch every UFC, so we're fanatics there. So yeah, um, if you have something uh, in common with us, hit the subscribe button. I'm sure you will. Uh, we just want to thank our sponsors. Our sponsor is Boot It Fitness. Um, Boot It Fitness is a boot camp in a box business where if you are a personal trainer and you want to start your own boot camp, they'll teach you everything you need to know about how to grow a lucrative boot camp business uh, with all the branding and all the systems and all the support to make it happen. Thank you, Boot It. Boom. Boom. Carrying on. Cool. Uh, okay. So our first topic, flick open our um, subjects, Mrs. Tullock. Grace Mullaney. News. Grace Mullane? Mullane. <laughs> Grace Mullane. <laughs> Why do I say Mullaney? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like uh, that sounds better. Yeah, don't insult her. Um, <laughs> shocking. So she, this, we have been following this case a little bit eh? i've probably been following it a bit closer than you yeah you tell me everything i tell you all about it Mm. um i did watch the most recent update today and the defense has rested their case so the the prosecution um they obviously have their say and now the defense have had their say and they've rested the case and there was nothing from the jury so i guess the jury must be deciding is that that's generally what happens next day uh, mm-hmm. so what are the factors and what are you what are you leaning towards well the factors are okay we'll go for the audience we'll go over the factors this dude he met up with her it was they got together consensually they hung out but then they went back to his apartment hotel slash hotel room while in that room she died um, she died of asphyxiation. She had a injury to her neck, quite a significant injury to her neck, a strangulation. Mm-hmm. They're saying one of the sig- the significant pointers they're saying is that she must have been strangled for longer than five minutes to die. Mm-hmm. So that's all in, like the prosecution saying this, like that it couldn't have been a mistake for yeah, five minutes, an accident. Yep. Yeah. Like they're saying it was like he was into it. Then they've got. I guess the photos this is the prosecution so he's like taken what seven photos that many seven photos oh so yeah. i'm jibber jabbering too That's much pretty bad kind of, so what do you think of that so far oh i oh he's totally guilty um yeah i believe he's totally guilty um whether or not he planned it, I don't think he would have... Oh, I don't know. I don't know if he... It's pretty dodgy. It's so dodgy. But you were saying that she was into it. They met up. I mean, they were talking about it beforehand. That's what the defense have brought out. They're saying that um, she was into BDSM, so that, that she had accounts on a couple of websites... And she had, in fact, logged into one of these BDSM, happened to have logged into one of these BDSM websites on the day that she met this dude. 
so that's the implication. It's just but it's, then, it's but, like a friggin' uh, soap opera. All of the coincidence of all of these things happening. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's like but just soap- because you like that, that's cool. That's fine if you like it. But that doesn't mean, like, I'm sure throughout whatever, like whatever they were doing, um, there would have been warning. Like he would have felt that she didn't like he was going too far. Like, you know, do you know what I'm saying? Like. It's it's like no one in the room uh, knows. Like I'm I'm also leaning towards, like no one apart from I guess the people in the room know. I'm leaning towards guilty as well based on his behaviour afterwards. You know, it's just like you look at. But is it the difference between manslaughter and murder then? Is that what they're kind of are they trying to get him off? Well, I think the law in New Zealand. I was listening to the the report. At the law in New Zealand for every murder case, you can find manslaughter. So I don't think it's like that in every country, but you can find manslaughter. So yeah, that's what it's going to come down to, and I think it's just going to be a judge of of character the defense is saying oh you've got to ignore all the stuff he did afterwards because he was in panic mode but it was no. like it's so dodgy eh? like the stuff he was doing oh, is just you're in panic dodge. mode he's in so much panic mode that he's okay to watch porn while it's she's laying there dead Nick. you know it's fo- like the photos is the one that seals what? it for me it's like seals it it's like you're keeping little mementos yeah that's and you tried real, to get away with it you probably thought he could get away with it because she was a british backpack oh, i mean it's so hard to know but i'm leaning towards guilty oh it's, he's and, definitely and we obviously guilty. we obviously don't know all the facts because we're not we don't know all the facts because we're not in there listening to everything we're just getting like little snippets of what the media are saying Okay, so that is the Grace Mullane case. Next, what do we have? So how we're going to run the podcast is we're going to do segments, right? Mm-hmm. Eventually it'll be really flash, like stuff will pop up on the screen <laughs> and you'll see like we'll refer to screens and our producer will pop them up. In the mo- At the moment it's just us two in a lounge. Okay, <laughs> just... Well, the a list that we've got on our laptop. Sports news. You know when like the sports news comes on when the real news that's all I ever watched when I was a kid. Just the sports. Just the sports news. I wouldn't even watch anything else. I just wa- I just get my dad to tell me when the sports news was on. Run out. Oh, finished. that's really cute, babe. That's quite cute, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even care about the weather. Weather state. No. It's like it is what it is. Yeah. Okay, sports. Deontay versus Ortiz. Two. The rematch. Did you see the first one? Mm, did I? No. Oh, you might have actually think, put it on. Yeah, I think yeah. we saw some... You saw the highlights. I yeah. went back and watched the fight. So he... It was kind of like his closest fight because he got rocked big time in the seventh round. So this Ortiz guy who's got like a crazy story he came from Cuba. He like escaped from cuba to mexico and then made it to the border of mexico and then got into america and then he got a trainer and now he's like right up there one of the top and he's like no one knows his age he's nearly 50 blah 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 blah. so it's like what do you mean no one knows his age does he know his age supposedly not i don't know it's just one of those those things that people say like no no one knows his age i'm sure he probably knows his age yeah But he's close to 50, is he? Do you think? Supposedly. Wow. Supposedly. He he moves like an old man. You can just see like... You know how old men move like where their hips get really stiff? And they, yeah. Like, they kind of waddle. He moves a bit like that. A bit like me <laughs> nowadays. I wasn't going to say that. He's maybe. a waddler. So that should be a good fight. That's on this weekend. Um kind of don't know why that fight's happening they should have just had that rematch of the the Deontay Fury fight but having watched the fights in the build-up I think they've got something in common with their daughters I know know how Deontay's daughters got spina bifida Mm. and I think Ortiz's daughter's got some sort of um handicap or something some sort of disability and I think he's hooking him up it's kind of like he's he likes him because of that yeah so maybe it's a bit of that. So who you have you got? 
But I think Deontay, Deontay will knock him out. Yep. He'll knock him out for sure. Yep. Okay, next segment. That was kind of like an all about me segment, sport. Um, next segment, all about you. Is it? Mars and Venus. Abs or dad bod? Are you talking about what women prefer? Yeah. Oh, no, I was actually going to say like, yeah, what women prefer, I guess you could take it that way. But also like once you get married, I, I was thinking that way. Like, you know, when you're single, you're like fit and looking after yourself then you're dating and then you're in a relationship you're still kind of you know you're still looking after yourself and then you get married and it's like ah oh, settle down and just let it go do you agree <laughs> there's no one else to impress well, I now definitely like agree that, yeah i you've definitely got... agree that i've let it go <laughs> well well not just no nah, i wouldn't say that babe well it comes and goes <laughs> yeah no, but I know a lot of guys. I know a lot of guys that are like that. Like, what? Why is that? When you get married, it's like there's you. There's no priority there. Oh, I, I I'm not sure, priority, eh, but you you're very true. I guess subconsciously, maybe it's like you know that you're no longer a you know a wild animal <laughs> out there chasing your you know your prey. Do you reckon? But even when you know, you've been tamed. Yeah, but even when they're in a relationship, so you're, you know, you're not a wild animal chasing your prey. You know, you're settled. Yeah. You're still like, you know, most well, the men I know, you know, still in shape and active. And then you get married. What does know, marriage yeah, I guess do? Some, some guys do stay in shape their whole life, and no matter when they get married, I guess is that just habit? Is that just an individual habit? Is that I guess, mm. I guess there is a really high proportion of men who go that way. Mm, yeah. So it's I guess maybe there's something about modern life that pushes men in that direction. But there's plenty of men who who are married who stay fit. But yeah, it's, I guess there is something. I get. I I think what what would answer that question is like you see it when people get single. Like if you broke up with me. Mm. Probably the first thing I'm going to do <laughs> is fucking find a, a gym <laughs> to join. <laughs> yeah, you know? go like hard I'm gonna, out. I'm going to go hard out down at the gym. Yeah. And make sure I'm hotter than you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that the next upgrade, the next version, but is I, a hotter version. No, but I guess it's, in your nose. No. it's also like stress. Like, well, if we broke up, you'd be you know, devastated, so you'd have to, you'd be at the gym trying to deal with your devastation, you know? Oh. Yeah. 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 No, you, yeah, I guess so, under that, yeah, you probably would, like, if you did break up, you want to look good, like, a lot of mm -hmm. people go into that. Yeah. So, therefore, if you haven't broken up, you don't care if you don't look good, is that, is mm -hmm. that kind of the assumption? Like, yeah. there's no reason... I guess I would, I can allow myself to get to such a level to the point where you're going to go, oh, I'm going to leave that guy. Like, what level would I need Ooh. to get to where you're like, oh. Physically. Physically. Well, like, wow, that's how a hard obese, question. How obese do we have to go? How obese? To, well, till you, till you come over and have the I have don't the know. Chat. I don't. So, uh. I don't much. know. I, nah, see. I don't agree with breaking up just because someone's gotten, you know, out of shape. I, I think there's something more, of course, there's more mental stuff happening um, for you to get like that. Um, yeah. Oh, what's your, ah, that's a hard question. Yeah, I guess, I, I guess it depends how far it goes. Like if they go, like if you met them and, and you signed up for something. No way, babe. You know, but then, no. No, like, what if they go, it's like, depending on the limit, you know, what if they go morbid? 
what if, if they okay. go, what if they go like you you know you met them and they're like 60 or 70 kilos and then next minute they're like 200 kilos like no see i don't you like would, 150 you kilos. would step in way before that of like you've you got to be you've got to there's got to be issues going on for you to gain so much weight right there's and so be as a partner you've got to be supportive and like you know of, of course but so would saying, you like, break but up with but me? But we're saying, like, say we've gone through all of those stages. We've gone through all of those stages of okay. reconciling, and then you still, like, you haven't managed to sort. Like, say I Fix. say like I I weighed like I weigh like a hundred and three kilos right now. Say I blow it to one twenty, and then we like, and you're like, oh Mark, I think you should get get to the gym. And then I'm like, and then the next Christmas I'm one fifty. Yeah. And I'm like sitting there like Ugh, like a slob, you know, like eating donuts. And then the next Christmas, you know, by 20, 25, I could be 200 kilos and I'm sitting there and I'm not moving, you know, like, yeah. how, like, man, like how long would you mm. be able to put up with that to the, yeah. I guess is the question. Yeah, that's true. It's hard to know. Yeah, I should don't. Should we ponder on that? Or how, no, on that? no, no, no. I want to know how big I have to get for you to feel like how big. Oh, I trust you to want to know. Um, how big? Yeah. Bigger Are you going to give me a number? Bigger than me. <laughs> Can't be bigger than me. No, when when you're bigger than me, we'll start talking. Okay. So you got a way to go. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, um, next topic. Um, More on Mars and Venus. Yeah, and Mars like and Venus. Men and men skinny, and women. Skinny versus curvy versus muscular. So we're talking about females. I mean, it's it's all individual choice, really. Skinny versus curvy versus muscular. Yeah, but what makes that your choice? Like, what do you I think? I don't know why... People like what they like. I guess it's the same reason why, you know, like why a person's gay or straight or why a person's does a certain thing. I guess you just you just like what you like. Mm. Um, but the the yeah. curvy girls are really um, becoming popular now. Like Maybe. the curvaceous look is is what's in. That's a good point. I wonder if it's like. You, you like what you like because that's what you like, yeah. Or you like what you like because that's what's in fashion mm. in the world at that time, yeah. You know, like I guess it's like we're all influenced by what's around us. So if we were in the eighties, all the guys would be into women with pubic hair. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right, babe? <laughs> Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. I wonder that. if that'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> that there is a thing. Is it coming back? Yeah. No, you can buy them. You can buy the um oh, I forget what they're called. Imagine being the woman but who got laser day when it comes you back. Can, yeah. You'd be fuming. Mm. And but it's no, like, you and can, all of a sudden it's like everybody it's like the done thing and you like can everybody buy. should have everybody should have it. <laughs> yeah. And you don't. And but you can buy them now. You can like buy them and they stick on and you can get shapes and you just stick it on there, apparently. Like I've seen it. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm. Okay. Anyway, we're going down a... A down a, 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 a dirty slippery, path. A slippery slope. <laughs> Skinny, curvy or muscular. I, I mean, for me, I like athletic. But well, yeah. Is what athletic is, muscular. Each to their own. Muscular. Yeah, I little, would little think bit of muscles okay. athletic is muscular. Little, is that, it's it's, it's like skinny, it's like skinny muscular. You know what I mean? Okay, skinny so muscular. skinny toned. Skinny toned but curvy. Yeah. Skinny toned, curvy, muscular. <laughs> you make it hard, babe. With you definition. make it hard, oh my God. <laughs> oh my no, God. I mean... <laughs> Get what you're and given. she can't be stronger than you. She can't given. be bigger than you. She can't be bigger than me. Get what you're given, though. Could you handle a girl that was stronger than you? I guess so. 
could you? I don't think you could. Mentally? Yeah, mentally. I don't think. No, physically. No, mentally. I don't think you could. Like, you'd have to be. Yeah. (laughs) It would be tough. I'm tough to deal with. Yeah. I I don't know. Don't know about that one. Okay, so we've been so that's that segment. Men, men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Give us your opinions. I don't know if give us your opinions in the comments. What What do you like and why? Yeah, that's a good point. Mm. And subscribe to the channel. We'll be having more of these conversations and ask some any questions that you want to ask. We will answer them. We will. Any topics? Next topic, darling. What's the next topic? Oh, advice for singles. Advice for singles. Why some people can't meet their soulmate. What do you think it is? Um, Let me think. Why can't you meet your soulmate? I think it's... um, I think people send out the wrong vibe. Like, I think when you're, you know, people can feel your vibe. If you're too desperate, guys find that unattractive um you know you know it's like when you go out um clubbing or out and you're not wanting anything and that's usually when you meet somebody or you have the best night because you're not planning the you know it's just a random night that you haven't planned or thought about and it turns out being like the best night this you know right, is it is this right yeah oh wow don't you reckon i'm seeing a whole new side to you <laughs> Yeah, it's like, uh, you know, and when you put out, oh, I need to find someone, I need to find someone, I'm so fucking lonely, like blah, 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 then you, you so know, then you you're don't find someone. You're forcing it away, so if yeah. you're, you're feeling needy, well, no one likes a needy person, right? Yeah. This this raises an interesting topic, and we've talked about this many times, about whether you believe it or not, and I'm a huge believer. Mm-hmm. Treat him, man. Keep no, him keen. no. That's not true. Treat them mean. Keep them keen. No. I don't like to believe in that. Do you believe in a little bit of hard to get? I believe in a little bit of hard to get, I guess, sort of. But I don't believe in, like, um, I don't know. I think you can ruin it for yourself as well. Yeah, you don't want to push it too hard. I guess you got to, it's like... Like, it can't be you gotta, too cold. you got to let them like know too. that that you're into them. Yeah. Enough. Yeah. yeah, give them something. Into them enough. Yeah. I guess you just don't want to be like the one... You know how it's like when you first meet someone and you're like real into each other and you both want to hang out all the time? Mm. And then, like, there'll always be one person who, like, can't hang out first. It's like, you mm. know, you're like real hard out into each other and then, like, all of a sudden someone can't hang out because they got to be like... I don't know maybe they got work mm. and then you like you, when that happens and you're the one who's at home you can't be like go all needy yeah you know you can't be the one who's like, oh where are you when are you coming over you know like you yeah, just you gotta, go, you gotta stay cool, cool. you yeah. stay cool yeah and uh, so it's not like treat a man it's just like don't be needy be cool wait for them to call mm. you know yeah you're a little bit of meh I'll see you when I see you. Yeah. A little bit of that. Why do you th- so why do you think people can't find their soulmates? Yeah, I think probably fear. What is what is any what does anybody not achieve anything? Probably fear, like fear of putting yourself out there. You know, not not putting yourself out there. I think there's, I don't. I mean, I've been out of the dating game for so long, but I guess like I was always into just going out and dating and meeting people. Mm. Like I guess putting like all your eggs in one basket, or like you know, like just not getting out there. Yeah. Getting through some numbers, getting some numbers up. Mm. Getting some numbers up on the board. Really. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, just just churn through. And like, you might meet some people. Just churn through. Churn through the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, churn oh through some God. digits. No, I agree. Get I, some numbers up. I do up, agree on that. And like, then you might, you know, you 
then you, I guess you got to kind of figure out what you meet, don't like, right? Mm, yeah, yeah. You're not going to meet the, you know, Mr. Right straight away. Oh, some people do. But most, I don't think they do. Like, you've got to know what you like. And, yeah. I think that also helps then when you're in a relationship with them because you kind of know what's, you know... Um, because, you know, if you've dated a few people, you kind of know what you like, what you don't like. Um, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. I definitely know. I definitely know. Yeah, yeah. So who do we, I guess I'm trying to think of people I know who haven't been able to meet. Someone, yeah, getting yourself out there, eh? you got to put yourself out there. Mm. If you want to meet someone, you got to get out there and date. But you got to be cool while you're out there. Like, you just got to be real casual about it. Yeah. And... Yeah, I think the people that I know just kind of put them, like, um, make it seem a bit, you know, I think they they don't mean to, but I think it comes across as too too desperate, too needy kind of thing. Like, too, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting old or I want to have kids or I want to, you know, it's like, and I think that scares guys away. Would it? Does it? Or they just haven't found the right person that wants the same thing. I don't. I mean, I, j- I can only speak for myself. So I think it's like for a dude. I think it's just like when you're ready, you're ready. Yeah. You know, when you're ready to settle, you're ready. So do you think? And then prior to that, you're just a player. Do you? Th- yeah. Do you, you think know, you're girls? Just rooting. Do you think girls should be going for older guys? I've always as a rule, believed. As a rule of thumb, yeah, I, w- I would say so. Yeah. You know, but I mean, I'm only speaking for myself. Yeah. I guess younger guys are definitely like out there playing the field. There's not many young guys who want to settle down, you know. They're like out there getting some numbers up, churning through the numbers, getting some time up. Yes. Um, Yeah. So, I guess if you find someone older, but even that's no guarantee, right? As we know. That's true. We've got older mates who are like... Haven't settled down to it their took like me well ages into their, to get him well to settle their down. 30s. Yes. Who? You. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Do you think people are too fussy about? Do you think people are like are too fussy about meeting their soulmate? Perhaps they've like they have met their soulmate, but they're like oh, looking for the yes. the grass. The, the grass greener is grass, always greener. The greener grass the on grass the other side. The grass is always greener. Yeah, I think, I think, well, from what I've seen anyway, a lot of people have their, and mine was, your standard is so high, I've had to lower my standard. (laughs) No, anyway, Um, my standard, you know, I think you go into a relationship, (laughs) you go into a relationship expecting, you know, um, expecting affection all the time, expecting, you know, them to be clean and tidy and no fighting and, you know, and then and then you get into a relationship and you're, you know, they start leaving their shoes around and they fart and, you know, it's. I think the standard is way too high. Uh, affection, I think, especially around affection. and. So do you think... Who are these? Who are these mythical dudes that are super affectionate for forever? Like, like no. I mean, I can. I've met dudes who are like real affectionate, right, with their girlfriends. But is there is there a man where that just like lasts? Yes. Forever? Yes. Is, it, is there? Is this? I'm a, sure he's out there. It's a mythical unicorn. No, baby. Guy who like is forever. <laughs> you know, he's just attentive and affectionate like, ah, and okay. and just the dream this dream boat guy <laughs> that you speak of yeah <laughs> no yes I, I do think our standard is quite high I think you just need to be realistic like um, you know guys don't read minds girls don't read minds affection um, you know, you're tired, people get tired, you don't think about it. You have kids. You have kids, you have your job, stress. Stress. Money stress. Yeah. Life the stress. The honeymoon doesn't last. The honeymoon doesn't It'll last. It'll work through it, eh? Yeah. Okay. 
Let's not depress too okay. many people. Let's, Let's move continue. on. Let's continue. Next topic. The best place to meet people. What is this you part You know of? all about this. What is the... This b- is part of Advice for Singles. Advice for Continued. Singles. Oh, yes. okay. The so best we've got Advice for Singles. I don't think this should be a segment because we'll run out of... We'll run out of advice after about two or three weeks. <laughs> so we haven't been single for... <gasps> 10 years what do we know about being single um the best place to meet people online surely you'd think so the, yeah these days you just got to be safe otherwise you might end you up just, like mm, you just got to do it the right way yeah don't you think yeah yeah meet in public well even then meet in public uh, what what is the right way i guess not what what is the right way to meet? I think through friends, but then you don't want to be that person. You don't like being that person who hooks your mate up. I will up. never ever do matchmaking, ever. I I love it. I hate matchmaking because when it goes wrong, you're the one that the one who is not happy about it. They will come it's to you. It's not your fault, and but sad sack central and be like oh can you get them to can you just get them to talk to me can you just get them to talk to me oh, yeah, i just want to talk to them yeah that is true that's true i didn't mean to be. you know they want you to be the go-between so it's not into it mm, yeah that's true uh, well but you don't have to be i think if you were if you were on the prowl like a milf, milf cougar. If I was You're on the, on prowl, the prowl right again. now, what, where would you be prowling? Oh, I don't know. Oh my God. Would you be prowling the playground? <laughs> I'd have to, wouldn't I? <laughs> Take my kids along. Um, You would be. You would be hard. <laughs> That's where he would be. I'd be prowling. You'd be at the pool. <laughs> You'd be at the gym. Take your kids to the gym. Wouldn't you? Prowling. Prowling the pool. Although the gym is a bad place to meet, apparently. That's what they say. Eh? Like, people don't talk. Have it's you ever not met really someone a... at the gym, though? Have you ever... Have, have you, ever... you? Allegedly. Oh. Allegedly. Let's... I dated someone from the gym. But no, it was funnily enough, I didn't ask them out at the gym. I had to see them outside of the gym. I probably wouldn't ask them at the gym. That's a bit... Did you meet them at it's the gym? It's a bit gym? creeper. Uh, did, yeah, yeah, I did. So how did you get to talking to them? Because they say that it's, yeah, you don't really talk to people at the gym. I think I had a conversa- had first conversation. Had first conversation at the gym. And it's kind of like, you know, when you notice someone mm-hmm. and then you know, I know that you know that I know that I'm awesome. <laughs> God. And that you're pretty hot too. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, one of those scenarios. Ah, but then you didn't. And but then you no, didn't then ask I bump, them at the gym. Then you bump into them and you go, "Oh, hey, you're from the gym." <laughs> okay. You know, one of those. Oh, okay. But it's like one out of your whole life, you know. Yeah, you're right. Like meeting, you're not going to meet a whole lot of people at the gym. Like most people have got their headphones in. Mm. I go to the gym. I'm just like put my headphones on and I'm like RoboCop, you know, just like. Don't talk to me. Get the F out of my way. <laughs> just cruising around. Like, you know, that's most people's mentality. And yeah. then, you know, it's like, don't talk to me. I'm not here to socialize. Yeah. That's the dudes. And then, like, the chicks are all, like, prancing around, trying to look good to everybody. And oh, it's all right. At Les Mills. Yeah, Les Mills, they do. They're all like. <laughs> what are they like? <laughs> Prancing around. Um, no offence to all you ladies at Les Mills. Uh, okay, so, yeah, we're not going to meet ladies at the gym. And we're probably not going to meet guys at the gym. No. Um, through friends. Through friends, hookups. Like, not hookups. Like, you just meet them. Like, at good a barbecue. Old a good barbecue. Old, good old-fashioned online dating, eh? Work. Just get back to through some work. good old-fashioned online grafting. Like just, just go on online. Da- it's just 
It's just yeah, but the online dating scene is is it is a bit scary. Like I've wanted to get my mum on it for ages. You got to be streetwise. Yeah. Right. Which mm-hmm. your mum isn't. No. Sorry, mum. If you're she, watching this. She is. She's very. She's too streetwise. She's she's very cautious. And that's where. Yes, that's why she hasn't done it. Okay. I won't say anything. <laughs> I'll get myself in trouble. You will. So. So what have we? What have we decided? The best place to meet. You think, think it's you, online? I think you go online, but you go with caution. And the certain websites. You vet people. Certain sites. You just vet them. You vet them. You go through certain sites. As you're saying, you go a little bit older if you're a female. You don't go young. I would have pretty strict criteria. Yeah. Yeah. What's your criteria? Millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Millionaire. Ferrari. Nah. I don't know. You would just... What would be your criteria? I, I mean... I don't even have a criteria. I don't even want to <laughs> anybody, think about it. I don't want to anybody think about that'll it. take me. <laughs> Who's available? Yeah. <gasps> hey, anybody <laughs> over here. I want that. that I'm free. <laughs> that guy we were talking about just before. <laughs> the unicorn. Oh, the unicorn. Yeah. Yeah, the mythical unicorn. Trust me, there's no mythical female unicorn either. <laughs> you know, the no, well dries is. up. There the is. well dries up. You got her, babe. You got that one. Okay. Fitness. 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 This is our next segment. Establishing fitness habits as a kid. So, we were talking a little bit about this. Do we, do we think it's important? And do we think... Because, you know, there's always the kid at school who doesn't want to do... P.E. Mm. You know, it's, oh, oh, sir, I'm injured. Can I go sit on the sideline? And it's like every week you're injured. There's always mm. that kid that just doesn't like physical exertion, yeah. right? Yeah. And they end up being the nerd, dweeb, um, Dungeons and Dragons playing, no, record it, no, um, excelling, creative, creative They're more artistic creative. Type. They're more artistic usually. Yeah, they've got is, the other, you know. Which is you nothing can't be good wrong at, with it. You don't I'm have stereotyping to be. them. You for, are for fun. <laughs> You're being but there's mean. nothing. But they end up being not into like a lot of people end up being not into physical activity. Yeah. I think maybe they pushed too hard when they're young. Like maybe they had a bad experience. No. Know? Oh, I think it's probably um, what the parents are like. So. Or just didn't get them into being physical. Yeah. Didn't, you know... Like, come for a They're walk. more into painting or music or, you know? Like, yeah. Like, you'd say, we've got a mate who... Um, it's just like um, our mate who... He surfs. He doesn't... Uh, he, he wasn't out with his dad throwing the ball and yeah. stuff like that like but i mean that's all physical but instead of being into throwing the balls or whatever like he's into surfing so i guess on the other um, hand like we're, we're into being physical right so we're into being like into your fitness and health but like would we also get would we also get your kids into art so therefore I, so, yeah. you know you would so therefore is it is it important that kids have some element of movement surely yes. surely there's like something that they can find that they would enjoy whether it's gymnastics or parkour or going to the park or yeah whatever yeah i guess yeah it's just giving them the opportunity to do those to do those things yeah i think for sure i reckon all all, all people can be good at something physical doesn't have to be like gym or baseball or rugby or american football it could be like any sort of physical activity it could be martial arts and martial arts is the best one because it's like the ultimate even like the nerdy kid can become a savage 
Mm. You know, the nerdy, dweeby little kid be- can become like a jujitsu savage. Yeah. So, for sure, I think there needs to be like an element of physical activity. There's something about being moving and physical activity and exertion that we need. Yeah. And we're doing kids a disservice by not like programming that into them and teaching them that habit. Yeah, but I think it's it's hard also these days as well as, I don't know, back in the day, I guess, when you've got like TV and movies and now, you know, more technology, video games that they would rather do than get out and... What's hard about that? Well, it's harder... Well, um, we're dealing with it, right? Yeah. So we're, but we're the parents. Like We, we control the, the devices. We just say... Go do X, go ride your bike or something, and then you can have a device. It's like yeah. like we have friends, right, who they just turn the Wi-Fi off or take the device off their kids or limit mm. the usage. Like we've got to be a bit like yeah, like that, surely. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, yeah. we are cranking episode one of the Tulloch Clan podcast. Um, how are you feeling? Bad? I'm feeling good, thanks. I'm I'm a bit tired, but <laughs> it's very it's what is it? It's twenty to ten. It's twenty to ten at night. Um, Melon's been oh, you've been getting pretty not consistent sleep. So no. George is breastfeeding and no. he's waking through the night. Now this isn't. This is this is. How old is he? It's like 11 months. So 11 months of waking up all through the night. Yeah. Yay. Wow. (laughs) He wouldn't know. He wouldn't know. Hey. (laughs) That's how we chose to do it. I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. (laughs) Yes. You do give me a break during the day. So I'm pretty lucky there. Thanks, bud. Thanks for throwing me some... (laughs) Token love. Uh, so, should we wrap up? That is the Tullet Clan podcast, episode one, official, kicking on. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. It's the first time we've done anything like this. It's going to get even better. We'll get even more professional. We'll know what we're talking about. We'll plan it. We'll have some cool, entertaining segments and more stuff. Subscribe to the channel. See you later. Bye.